Hello everyone, my name is Adam Marie Plus Vox, and welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 tips video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your panel a little bit here, your Unity launcher, if you will. It is a, a steaming pile of crap, in my opinion, but there are some things you can do to customize it. For this, we're going to be using both the regular system settings, the just default capabilities you have within Ubuntu, as well as Unity Tweak Tool, which you can pick up in the Ubuntu Software Center. First and foremost, you're going to want to get the applications you actually use on the on the launcher instead of all the ones that it just kind of does by default. So we're going to un unlock all of these instead of unpin. It's called unlock all of these apps that we're not going to use. So if you drag it out, then you can resize it or not resize, but you can, you know, re reorder them if you like. Or if you just drag it out entirely, it's just going to kind of put it wherever it wants to. You Unfortunately, it doesn't actually remove it by you know, dragging it off there, which I guess does prevent accidental clicks. So instead, you got to go to right click and unlock from launcher, unlock from launcher, unlock from launcher. Why is there Amazon integration? Nobody wants it. Unlock from launcher. Now, if you want the workspace switch switcher and show desktop, go to your system preferences, uh, appearance and behavior. Yeah. And you've got add show desktop icon to the launcher and enable workspaces. And then you can also enable auto hide here as well. And you can do this within Unity Tweak tool as well. If you go here to Unity Launcher Auto Hide, you can change the sensitivity and customize in specific settings of the launcher. And then you can enable minimize window application on one click. So for example, with that enabled, it minimizes it. Whereas with that not enabled, if I click it again, nothing actually even happens. So definitely want that enabled. Then you can change the transparency. By default, I think it's completely opaque. You can drag it up here and make it fairly oh, transparent, which I like. You can change whether or not the color is based on your wallpaper, which it kind of auto detects like Windows does. Or if you want it set to a specific color on its own, which looks awful. So based on the wallpaper is certainly what you want. And then position either left or the bottom. I did post a tutorial on how to do this via the command line if you prefer to do it that way. But a single button press to automatically have it happen is a lot easier. It took them six years. I, I, I will let you know here. It took them six years to give you an option to move the panel from the left to the bottom and you still can't like swap it up to the top or move it to the right like older versions of gnome i don't know what they, they, they're thinking i i don't know uh, it doesn't make any sense and then you can change the animations for the icons so urgent animation so like when they have an urgent notification it can either pulse or wiggle when you're launching it it can either pulse or blink so if we launch file manager things have to take a while to launch for the icons to actually show up that's the problem uh that's why i don't screw with these options too much I'll just leave it on wiggle and pulse and then icon backgrounds only show on applications that are open. That way you can easily have a visual clue as to which application is open. And then a, another option to enable the show desktop icon. And then you can actually change the icon size here on the launcher, which makes the whole launcher much bigger and makes the icons bigger. But then you start running out of space. So I, I'm keeping it at 50 right now for videos. I wouldn't normally keep it that big, but... I'm doing it just so it shows up better for videos. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you customize your panel. Oh, we didn't add any applications to it. We got to do that. Okay, so go to start. Uh, go to applications. And of course, it's impossible to find applications in here. And then find some applications you want to add to it, like Cheese Webcam Booth. Do we want to add that to our thing? You Then all you have to do is open it and then right click it, lock the launcher. And any open application, you can just lock the launcher. And here we have it open. So there you have a webcam preview with my camera preview. Hello, this is weird. Okay. Goodbye. And then, for example, I want the terminal. So I'll open it. Well, I keep right clicking because it doesn't let you add it from the actual menu. You have to actually have it open and then lock to launcher. That's it. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, be sure to. Smash that like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos and Ubuntu tips. Check the playlist link down there in the description below for more Ubuntu 16.04 tutorials. And otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. My name's been Adam Fox. Have a great one. Download link to Ubuntu will of course be in the description if you don't know how to do that.